it says, Then came one and told them, saying, Behold, the man whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then went the captain with officers and brought them without violence, for they feared the people, lest they should have been stoned. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council. And the high priest asked them, asked them, saying, Did not we strictly command you that you should not teach in this name? And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine, and intended to bring this man's blood upon us. And then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God hmm, come on. rather than man. Yes. The God of our Father raised up Jesus, whom he slew and hung on a tree. And I'm going to tell you, obey God because he can raise you up more than a man. Amen. 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 Come on, man. We definitely, we definitely commanded and changed you and charged you these, these officers said to not to teach you know about the name yet you flooded Jerusalem with your doctrine they didn't want to hear about his, this doctrine and you bring this man's blood upon us well let me tell you some counsel you need the name of Jesus knowing that a man was not justified by works Galatians 2 6 says knowing that a man is not justified by works of the law, but by faith. In Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Acts 2 38 said, Keep in mind we need the name of Jesus. Then Peter said unto the to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus, for the remissions of sin. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy, Holy Ghost. You need Jesus. You need the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Yes, it is. We need that name. They didn't want to hear the name of Jesus. Why? It can re it, it wash away your sins. Mm -hmm. Philippians 2.10 says that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. I tell you right now, you need to bow now or bow later. Uh, amen. 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 Come on, man. Amen. Bow now or bow later. I can, can you imagine Peter and, 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 and the person preaching the gospel and telling them about Jesus, that what the name of Jesus can do, that it can wash away your sins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It can make you whole. You tell them you need to bow now or bow later to come the name on, of on, Jesus. And, and just imagine that they're asking him, you know, well, what about my sins? What about what I did yesterday? What about what I said? Like that song said, he seemed the best in you. Amen. Forget about the past. Forget about what you said. Yeah. Because the blood of Jesus washed away all your sins. Ooh, come on now. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. This man's blood, they said this man's blood could be upon us, upon us. You need the blood, like I said. You need the blood to wash away your sins. Though, though his atonement, self-sacrifice on the cross, according to Acts 20 and 28, it says, Take heed, therefore, unto yourself and to all the flock over, over the which the Holy Ghost have made you overseers to feed the church of God, which he had purchased with his own blood. You and I was bought with a price. Amen. That blood. Amen. So they need the blood to wash away their sins. They need that blood to overflow, to wash them away. So you don't want the blood, you don't want his blood to be on you, you need the blood to be on you. Amen. 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 Can you imagine the apostles, the, the Peter and them teaching in the temple, you need the blood. Yes, you need his blood. That's why he went on the cross, you need his blood to wash away your sins. You don't want to talk about the blood, you don't want to talk about the name of Jesus, you need Jesus and you need the blood. Amen. Amen. Come on, man, it's the white Come on. Come on. First Peter 1 and 2 said, elect according to the foreknowledge of God, the Father through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. Mm -hmm. You need your peace to be multiplied. Come on now. You yeah. need grace to be multiplied. Yeah. So why you don't want to talk about the blood of Jesus? <laughs> why you don't want to talk about Jesus? 
We need Jesus in this hour. We need Jesus. Can you hear the prisoners teaching in the temple? You need Jesus. Don't you need peace? Don't you need multiple police? When you need this thing. You say, I, what about my troubles? I can hear the people, what about my troubles? What about this? Well, he come to give you peace. Peter replied, we must obey God rather than man. First Samuel 15 and 20, so behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. They chose to obey God in spite of opposition, in spite of what the council had told them, that not to speak of Jesus, not to talk about the blood of Jesus. They chose, I choose to obey God. But Peter and John answered and said to the brother, it's right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than God. This was the first loyal to God. Are you loyal to your God? Come on now. They could not agree to such restriction to not mention Jesus, to not mention what the blood of Jesus does. They were responsible to bear witness to their Lord. They sat under his teaching. Like many of you are set under the teaching. You can't reject Jesus because you know what he done for you. You know what he brought you Amen. 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 You'll be you'll right. be just guilty as these people, as these Sanhedrin, to reject Jesus. Un after you sit under his teaching, after you know what he's done for you, he's done so much for you. Yes, yes he has. Acts 5 and 32 says, And we are his witnesses of those things, and so also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them, that obey him. Saints, we've got to obey him. Yeah. Come on, come on. we got to obey him, no matter what the cost. we still got to obey him. Yeah. 1 Peter 4, 17 says, For this time has come, that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it begin at us, what shall the end be to them that obey not the gospel? It's not going to be good if you don't obey the gospel. Those apostles and Peter, they knew what they were doing when they were in that temple. They chose to obey God because they know the end they didn't do. If they didn't obey the gospel, the Sanhedrin did not want to hear obey or obey the gospel teaching of the name of Jesus. Philippians 2 and 8 says, And being found in fashion as a man, humbled himself. Now this is what Jesus Christ practiced, obedience. That's how he practiced it. It says, And being found in fashion as a man, humbled himself, and became obedient unto <coughs> death, even to death of the cross. He was obedient to go to that cross to die for our sins. Now that was obedience. Yes. What he took, those stripes, those nails in his hands, that Come took on. a lot of obedience. That's obedience. Yes, he, yes. he was the first obedient one. Yes. He was yep. the first example of being obedient. Yes. When he went to that cross, Come on now. that took some obedience. Yes, it did. That took some humility. That took some dying to yourself. And these men of God, these prisoners, they died to themselves. No matter what could happen to them, they died to themselves. Second Corinthians 2 and 9 says, For to this end also did I write, that I might know the proof of you, whether you be obedient in all things. Be obedient in all things when it's concerned to Christ. Be obedient, not in some things, but all things. All things. All things. Drink the whole cup. Don't drink some of the cup. Don't sip the cup. Don't pull the cold cup out and say you drunk the cup. Drink the whole cup. Be obedient in the whole cup. Drink it up. Drink it up. Come on. First Corinthians 9, 24 says, Know ye not that they which run a race, run all. But one received the prize. Yes. Come on. Paul and Peter the prison was in all the way. Are you in all the way? All the way. Do you want to receive the whole prize? The whole you gotta prize. run the race, baby. Don't just run the race, but keep running. Amen. You receive on, the prize. No matter what the cost to obeying God. Now I'd like to leave you this question. What price are you willing to pay to obey God rather than man? Think about that. What price are you willing to pay? To obey God rather than man. Mm. Amen. Mm. That's it. Mm. Amen. Mm.